All right, gearheads. Um, Matt thinks he's got me because I've made it pretty clear my stance on the Nissan Kicks. I was not a fan at all. It was too vanilla, too boring. And for 2021, Nissan Kicks is fully redesigned. We're gonna do a little uh, small crossover comparo. Hey gearheads, do us a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future content from us. And help us keep driving crazy cars like this one. While you're at it, go find us on Facebook and Instagram to check out some behind the scenes stuff and see what we're driving next. You can also head over to gtgaragetalk.com, listen to our podcast where we interview people from throughout the automotive industry and some people with some pretty fun automotive backgrounds. All right, Matt, we're doing a little something different because... <laughs> the wind is a little brutal here what in Fort Worth today. the heck? Where did this wind come from? I don't know. But it was supposed chilly. to be 75 and sunny today, and now it's not supposed to get over 55 and windy. Uh, All oof. day. Yep. Anyway, anyway, so we're doing a small crossover Comparo, and like I said, we're going to do a little bit different because we're sitting in the one that we're not going to be talking about. So I'm actually going to flip the camera around and we're going to talk about what Matt drove to our current location. Uh, and then we will go into what I drove here that we're currently sitting in. All right, Matt, what did you drive here? So this is the 2021 Hyundai Venue. Denim. Denim. Yeah. Which we will get to in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, if you, yeah. So what did you think? I'm in love. Really? That surprise you a little bit? Yes. Um, uh, very strong word. Honestly, this is pretty sweet. Um, I love the color in here. It's kind of this gray blue. Uh, it's really pretty. It's soft. It's not obnoxiously blue. Um, decent little screen here. It looks just a little out of place, but they've got it set in between the vents, so it's not, it's not terrible. Um, overall, it's pretty sweet. The steering wheel is a little busy. There's a lot of buttons on the steering wheel for the size that it is. Although it is a nice place to rest your hands. Very beautifully uh, leather wrapped with some uh, white stitching. I I genuinely like this little thing. Yeah. So Hyundai's brother Kia right. has the Soul, which I'm sure shares all kinds of architecture and yeah. drive line and everything else from. Yeah. This, it's an intriguing rig, to be honest. Um, Kia has the Soul, which this is not unlike. Um, let's see how simple it is to maneuver a bit here. Not bad at all. Nice backup camera, actually. And uh, it's small which means it's maneuverable. I love the Kia Soul. Yeah. It's compact, it's efficient, it's comfortable. Um, you don't feel like you're, you know, sitting on the person next to you in it kind of right. a thing. I like that you sit down in this, but you're not, I mean, you, you sit low in it, but it's not like the car is consuming you. There's plenty of headroom. Um, Plenty of headroom in this thing for sure. Wow, going over the tracks. It's taut, but it's not ridiculous. Um, firm, planted, confident, inspiring for sure. But this is this is very well done. Uh, it follows suit with the sole in in the the spacing and features and things. All in all, uh, I'm extremely pleased with this thing. It's not a powerhouse, but it'll run. Yeah. Right out of the gate. It's incredibly easy to drive. The steering is super lightweight. It actually has a 
shift knob in it. Um, it's part reverse neutral drive. There is a manual mode. I'm curious about that to see what it does. Oh, I forgot it was in manual mode. Wow, the shifter is very responsive. That's actually uh, <laughs> incredibly refreshing compared to most cars in this segment that if they have something like that, it just kind of does what it wants to do. Doesn't really uh, care for your input, but this one does. It's very responsive, very quick. It's got uh, a manually shiftable transmission uh, that is incredibly responsive. I was very pleased with, uh, even with my foot buried, if I selected the next gear, it went to the next gear instantaneously. Okay. So uh, very, very, very well done on this little rig, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. get on it but uh, it's not bad at all really this is really fun I really like this little rig the interior is spectacular yeah it's it's uh it's not leather on the seats right but I love the the stitching and the contrast colors um, it's it continues that blue and white theme on the interior as well and it really sets this thing off it's very very cool uh, and very well done the interior is simple, it's modern. It's got buttons, which I love. Buttons are wonderful. The seats are really cool. I'm gonna give you some stills of the seats here in a little bit. They're not leather, but uh, but they're really, really sharp. Um, cool off-color stitching and piping and whatnot in them. Makes them really, really sharp looking. All in all, this is a pretty slick little rig. Little storage compartment there, armrest, some off white gray leather here on the door that's pretty sharp. It's a really classed up vehicle for what it is. The color combination helps a lot. It's blue and white. It's really, really pretty. It fits the lifestyle um, type vehicle because it's not a car, it's not an SUV, it, it's that in between. But to throw a couple of dogs in the back and go to the park, uh, to throw you and your friends in it and go watch a movie. So the back seat, it's pretty nice. Uh, the seats kind of mimic what's going on up front. Uh, you do sit up a little more, which is fine because again, there's plenty of headroom in this thing. Plenty of leg room, I'm not a tall person, so, uh, like the passenger seat here, well, let me scoot over there and try it. Passenger seat's back quite a bit. Yeah, and my knees are in it, but uh, there's plenty of room to move the seat up. Uh, it's not uncomfortable. It would be fine for riding around town or something like that with your friends. Um, I think you could put a car seat back here pretty easy, so small, young families would do great in this thing. It's gonna be fuel efficient, it's gonna be comfortable, Highway trips, it may beat you up a little bit just because it's lightweight, but uh, it's gonna do great as far as the fuel consumption is concerned. As proof with, the hunt, with what Hyundai and Kia are doing lately, the quality is through the roof, and uh, this vehicle is no exception to that at all. This is wonderful. Everything is put together very well. Obviously, this is the top of the line rig for this uh, particular vehicle, but wow, it is, it is feature laden for sure. To buzz back and forth to work in it, it's awesome because it sits up so it's not going to wear on you being on the road. Uh, but it's still, it's still just a fun little car. I mean, it's, it's a really cool little car. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Everyday consumer kind of car, kid out of college or high school kind of car. Um, this is incredible. Plenty of space for you and a couple of friends. Plenty of space for you and your dog. Uh, there's a hatch in the back that's got lots of room in it. Decent little uh, cargo area here. It's uh, it's not huge, but this isn't a huge car. But underneath this tray, not only is the spare tire hiding in there, but oh my goodness, 
the room over top of the spare tire. I'm sure there's another shelf that's supposed to sit in there over top of that, but there's a whole nother compartment underneath the compartment. It's kind of wild. Um, so props on the spacing back here for sure. Little tie downs, tethers for car seats. Um, very well done. I mean, all in all, this is really a great little rig. I'm letting it, letting it do the lane keep and it is hugging that right line. Oh, okay, it told me to put my hands on the wheel. It's a very windy day here in Fort Worth, so uh, trying to get it to do its lane keep thing is a little bit of a battle. Like I mentioned before, steering is very lightweight, very composed, cutting into spots and stuff like that. Piece of cake. I really like this thing. Let's see what Corey has to say about the kicks. So I have so much to talk about the kicks yeah. that you put me in. Right. He uh, he abused me yesterday in the, uh, uh, was starting us off in the ID4, so I told him he had to take the kicks. First and foremost. Well, uh, I put you in it? Yes. Uh huh. Y you mandated that I drive it. Redemption. Um, That's what that was. Yes. So I put you in an EV to start the day uh -huh. yesterday, and you put me in a kicks this morning. So, You're welcome. Yes. Uh, that being said, Nissan has updated it for 2021. Uh huh. And then, as I said in my drive video, they've addressed most of my issues. So the joke's on Matt, though, because in the 2021 redesign of the Nissan Kicks. They have taken and addressed most most of my complaints with it. Uh, immediately looking in to this rig, uh, the gray, light gray, dark gray, contrasting interior that you can see behind me. Love it. I love contrasting interiors. And uh, it's got orange stitching to match the orange paint, which you can see a little bit of right here on the door. Um, there are a lot of tech features in this, so that's cool. You can see the speaker and the headrest right here behind me. Unfortunately, uh, I can't show y'all how well that works because copyright reasons. You weren't as funny as you thought you were uh, by sticking me yeah. in, in a kicks first thing this morning. A little nicer um, than you expected. Yes, there's a lot of piano black in this. Not a huge fan of. The cup holder situation is interesting. Um, it's just a big open hole. I wonder if there's like removable things that you're supposed to put in and take out of there. Very upright seating position. It's tall, it's not a Sentra. You're not sitting on the ground, it's tall but it's not terrible. I don't hate it like I thought I would. Much respect. Open mind, coming with an open mind. When it comes to the gauges, you've got a huge analog speedometer. And then right next to it, you've got a small rectangular uh, digital screen that has the tack and some adjustable uh, information points on it and then time temperature uh, your lane keep all that gives you uh, all that information right there in front of you and then judging from your review of the Hyundai Venue denim yeah uh, these are much more closely tied and competitors than I had originally figured the denim went white accents yep Kicks went black. Yeah. Uh, contrasting interiors on both. And that is one thing that I instantly gravitated to in that Kicks. And I thoroughly enjoyed the interior of it. I mean, when you're getting into this, you know you're not getting into a luxury vehicle. It's all about individualism. And in fact, I opened the glove box and the press materials fell out. And that was the first thing on there is about individualism being unique and different. The Kicks is all about individuality and I think they've really got that with the two-tone seats. I love that. Perfect. Like, 
Yes, more cars need two-tone interiors. And then the orange stitching. I love orange. Orange stitching, yes. Orange on the exterior of this, yes. That's what Nissan's going for. That's what Hyundai's going for. That's what Kia's going for. I think of the three of them, the Kia Soul has been around long enough and has the reputation that uh, it does. And it, it set the standard for this segment. Right. Everyone else is trying to play catch up. You're not buying this for power. I can't. I can't. I can't knock it because it's a commuter vehicle. It's meant to be fun and quirky and different. From ride, you feel the bumps. Again, contrasting, uh, I, I love orange, uh, and then you put the black roof on it, black wheels. It's very upright, it's, it's boxy-ish. Uh, you've got the updated rear end with that uh, wannabe LED light bar look across right. the back. So they've done a really good job in the styling of this thing. And like I said, they've addressed most of my concerns with uh, the, the older model. But I, I would say when it comes to uniqueness and individualism, uh, the previous generations uh, or the uh, predecessor to this definitely wins out. As much as you and I joked about the Juke, uh, at least it, they tried something with it. It oh, was yeah. very out there and different and very unique on the road. I wasn't a fan of the Juke. I've made many jokes about the Juke, but at least they tried something. They were different, it was unique, and it was that individuality that they're trying to cap capture with this Kicks. I think the, ins uh, the exterior styling falls a little short in that regard. This seems a little more by the numbers okay. to me. And and that's my ultimate, I guess, landing point with this car is they've done a few cool things inside. My, my biggest plus for it is the interior, the two-tone seats, the orange stitching, the loud orange paint. Okay, you got me. The exterior is a bit by the numbers and, and it's just okay. All that being said, this car's not for me. The one we're sitting in isn't necessarily for me. I, I'm not in the market. I'm not in the lifestyle. I'm not in the life stage right. that these cars are really going for. But for a commuter vehicle, for a kid's first vehicle, perfect. Uh, I think once you start getting out of college age, uh, you start getting too old for this. Uh, I'm definitely too old for this. This car is not meant for me. And I know that. Um, only if I were trying to, you know, find something f fun and cheap uh, would this be on my shopping list. But again, it's not for me, and I respect that. It would be perfect, like I said, for a high school student, a college student, first car. Um, I load tons of stuff up as you move off to the dorm. Yeah, it'd be perfect for that. But uh, yeah, for me, my life stage, uh, I'll pass. Uh, for the dem demographic that they're actually going for, I'd say they're both perfect vehicles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Please tell me. Nope, it doesn't recline. Okay. Not great. Not great gearheads. It, it's too upright. Um, find myself needing to slouch to be comfortable back here. In which case, my knees are in the back of the seat behind me. And the passenger seat is even further back than the driver's seat is currently. And that, that would be torture because I would have to sit like this in order to ride like that. And don't make me go anywhere for any length of time sitting like this. Uh, no thank you, I'm, no. Um, but for a quick trip, sitting by myself, you would definitely have to ask the passenger to move up. But that shouldn't be a problem depending on who you're riding with. Back here you've got a couple of USB uh, ports covered up with a little rubber rubber cover. And uh, that's about all, all there is back here. You don't get an armrest. Uh, 
power windows, but they're that's that, that, that's really all there is back here. A very upright seat, limited leg room, and yeah. Again, this car is not for me. College student, high school student, I think it'd be perfect. I'm anxious to drive this venue that we're currently sitting in because it, it surprised me after I opened the door. You said you were in love with it, and now I want to find out more of why. I love this interior, dude. I, what? What? I thought I liked the interior of the kicks with the two-tone. This takes it up a notch. I, I'm, I'm impressed. All right. Very comfortable seat. Holds you in place. Good driving position. It's a box in here. It really, like, it's a big box in here. Very easy to see out of, see all around. Again, going back to that boxy profile and shape that it has. And that is not the car rattling, sorry. It's Matt brought a water bottle in here and left it with me. So it's actually fairly quiet in here. You do hear road noise. It is a, a cheaper vehicle. So, I mean, it is what it is, but uh, it's comfortable. It's roomy. It's up, up and airy. All right. It'll scoot. Makes a lot of noise though. I gotta lie. Makes a lot of noise for not much, uh, but it, it'll move. It'll move. I like it. But I am liking these seats a lot. They're very cool to look at. Interesting texture to them. Not just a normal cloth seat. Going back to that denim theme that is pervasive in this, the gauges have like fake jean stitching around them. I really, nice touch, nice touch. Who came up with this? Like, what? <laughs> Seems so random, but it works so well. This one thoroughly surprised me all the way around. That's much better than the kicks. Oh yeah. So about the same amount of leg room back here. Again, sitting by myself, I'm actually touching right now. So I didn't move the seat from where Matt had it. I can probably pull it forward a little bit, but I'm comfortable just sitting here normally. There's enough of an angle to this back seat. It is not punishing like the back seat of that kicks. I whew, instantly sat down there and I said, nope, not, not taking this on a road trip. Uh, but this, it's comfortable. It, there's there's enough of a rake. You can sit back and be comfortable. There's really nothing back here. No USB ports. Uh, no air conditioning vents. Uh, I guess you can control the light if you want to, but yeah, there's there's really nothing back here for you, and that's okay. Because again, college students, high school students, that's who this is for. And again, I'm just thoroughly surprised at this rig. <laughs> They call this the venue. It should be the value. Uh, I'm just, I'm impressed. Like, you get a lot in this rig. The Nissan Kicks. I do like the contrast stitching. I do like the gray and black with the uh, orange uh, stitching in them. I do like the flat bottom steering wheel. That's pretty cool. It is a heated steering wheel as well. Um, uh, yeah, not too bad. Oh, goodness. And it's got a CVT. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll say it again. I said it earlier this morning about a different vehicle. I don't like the tuning that Nissan has done with the CVT. If you're gonna make a CVT, let it be a CVT. Let it find that peak power sweet spot and leave it alone. Just leave it alone. First thing right out the gate, ride quality, eh, it's, uh, it's a little more abrasive than the venue. Uh, it's a little, a little stiffer, uh, not as compliant as what 
the suspension setup is on the venue. Um, it's not awful. You know, we're on the rough section here around Texas Motor Speedway. I'm sure you can hear my voice as it kind of bounces over some of the different potholes and bumps in the road. But uh, I don't know. It, 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 it has a little more sporty feel to it. But then you pair that with the CVT and it they they kind of cancel each other out. It's not it's not sporty. This is very Sintra esque. Um, I'm sure they share a lot of components. Uh, for example, this steering column cover has a nice big flat spot for uh, a key that isn't there. So um, you know, parts bin kind of thing. Not bad. Just what it is. This one has the push button start down here by the gear selector, and I love, I love the gear selector. It's got a good feel to it. it reminds you you're in drive or park or wherever you are. Um, the steering is very light on this thing. It's very maneuverable until you until you get off of center. Then it tends to get a little heavy, but it's not terrible. Honestly. It's about the same as the venue. Uh, maybe a little more legroom back here. I think the wheelbase may be a little longer on the kicks versus the venue, but it, it's probably made up right here between this and the nose. So the seat's moved all the way back. So like in the venue, my knees are in the seat, but it's not uncomfortable necessarily. Uh, again, love the contrasting colors. Both vehicles, as far as the interior materials and layout and overall theme, did a very good job. I do enjoy the interior of both vehicles. This is a lot more car feeling, whereas the Venue is a lot more CUV, uh, upright feeling. This has got a little more sport feel to it, which I think was the direction they were trying to go with it anyway. So uh, it fits the design in that regard. All right, opening up the back hatch here on the kicks. Plenty of space, possibly a little more than what's in the venue. Um, it's decent, but let's see what we got under here. Yeah, no room for any extra underneath the uh, floor of it like there is in the venue, but I do think there's a little more space here between the seat and the uh, back hatch. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's plenty spacious for sure. It's not terrible. I guess that's my my sum up. It's not terrible. It's just not great. All right, Matt. Yep. Of the two we brought, uh huh. This is definitely the winner. <laughs> uh, which that doesn't surprise me as much because of again my preconceived notions of the pre refreshed kicks. Right. Uh, I, I was biased. Uh, I will say this comparison has taught me something okay. and to, to leave those preconceptions at the door uh, because stepping into this I, I was instantly surprised like again uh, how much navy blue am I wearing right now <laughs> and then just to see it everywhere in this with the contrasting white oh, yeah. very nice and again looking at it from the outside you're like okay it, it, it's a it's a box there's nothing just Overly right, it doesn't jump out yeah, at you. It, it, it's very unassuming, it's yeah. an unassuming box, and I mean, it is what it is. It, it, it's a like I said in both reviews that I did, uh, these cars aren't exactly for us in the life stage that we're in, right? But for the market that they are for, I think they are great. Of the two, this venue is definitely the winner. Uh, which surprises me just because I, I didn't expect much <laughs> out of either of these, really.